Good day, everyone. Today is 2.43 p.m., 25 January, Thursday. We have a disclosure here. Time and sale. Connection to Ninja Trader Broker. And now we still see on the control, we still have the gold. On one trade, 3,400. We have the CL, 1,500. And we have a CL, another CL, 1,000. And then we have the YM, 360. Today we had a good run, not like before on the US future market, like uh, yesterday. But let me take a couple of uh, the charts. We have, I would like you to see the one minute again. Because if the one minute working, everything is working. Today on the, this is an all day trade. Especially for the guys that like to trade early in the morning or they are in Europe or in Asian. Um, uh, we had the first trade today, 6 o'clock this morning. We exit at uh, 48.75 at 7.31. The second trade was at 7.35. We exit at 8.10. And we have 8.14, another trade. We exit at 9.14. Then we have an entry at 9.27 and we were done at 10.06 early this morning. Now, if we study that chart, after 10, 10 o'clock, really there is not much because the way, especially for the amateur trading, they have to understand that. Going back and forth, especially those area here, it is the worst enemy to any auto trade. Then we have a very nice trend, and this is a really very, very hard area for any type of auto trade. And, and it is very important for the trader to understand how the chart uh, moving. And then we have, if we stayed on those, uh, we would have an entry right there all the way down here. And uh, this is the ES, so on the ES, took one, two, three, four trades, four winning trades all day long. And that's what the beauty about it, four trades, one, two, three, and four. And that for all day long trading. I don't know if some of, uh, some of you know what's going on between the dollar and the euro today. That ignite the DAX pretty well and some other news where we had a very good run on the DAX. We have the 244 uh, made 2,600. Small trade here and a break even, almost very small trade. This is the 244, 2,693. And then we have, I mean, might as well show it to you. We have, this is a high time frame chart 377 takes thirteen thousand dollar on on one trade this is the 1000 volume we had 7621 on the volume with one small uh, trade here and then we took it and if we notice we were done this one also around 1026 and on and on and on. I don't want to cover that today, but what I would like to cover, uh, we have this gentleman to follow up. Now it's 247, you got the picture. The one I showed yesterday, uh, this gentleman, um, he is not no uh, potato couch, he is a high rank officer in the US military. And I showed uh, yesterday um, his messages and I would like to continue today and I want to cover his trades and I would like to show you 
uh, what uh, happened with this guy. And again, for our members, you can talk to him directly uh, on the next webinar. And uh, he is in the state right now. He is an officer. He travels a lot. But uh, he will be uh, on, um, on the next webinar, and you can talk to him directly. Uh, this guy has been with us for over three years, and when he came back this time home, he asked me if uh, he have seen that uh, we have an update with the swing trading, so I give him the swing trading. He went on a sim for one day. The guy is a trader, clean mind, very clear head, and uh, the guy took it on a test ride uh, on, uh, for one day, and then the second day went live with it. I want to cover his trades. I don't want to cover, and those all his trades are live. And uh, and let me go with that one here. Uh, CL. If you notice his entry on the CL, it's beautiful, sixty-five eighty-five. And this one here. He took a trade and it was twenty six forty seven and uh, uh, this one here it is I think it was the YM this one and this one here the GC one three five eight and he had a run on the Nasdaq and I love that entry on the Nasdaq it is 975 and you can see how he got that trade live trade and on that trade here I don't know if I can make it bigger on that trade here he made 2160 live trading let me show you his messages Closed out tonight just over 1500 that 4700 just today. A little over 3100 in the morning session, then 1547 tonight. Don't even know what to say, Sam. But uh, for you, I'm, okay, it doesn't matter. Thank you. Very nice. And then I said to him, take your family out. And he said, I'm going to take me out. I don't want anybody to take me out. Just remember, when you have a bad day, don't, uh, don't, um, don't get mad at me. I have made over $7,000 this week on the auto trade in three days. That is not. Let me see if there's any other. And that gentleman here is a high-ranking uh, in the military, he's no potato couch. Not anymore, killed it anyway. Sam almost made $10,000 this week, 10K. I will hit it tomorrow for sure. This is, is only day three. In three days, he made almost 10,000. 8,756. That is after the commission, three trade, three days trading life. Yep. Then I send him a smile, say nice, and he said that smile not big enough, Sam. I think I showed you all his messages. And this is probably an early message, Sam. This auto trade is killing it. It just nailed seven hundred sixty dollars on the. I think this one was from yesterday, on a three minutes chart. Yes, this is, was from yesterday. Here is my Nasdaq today. Just went, and uh, I wasn't kidding. This was on one minute chart. Live, yes, sir. Three thousand one hundred dollar, and that that was yesterday between the NG and the NQ that after I did the video he sent me those messages and then he put here and real Sam I know it's not everyday things that's true thank you he is a professional trader he know he cannot be done every day like this 
But man, when it runs, it runs. Feel free to show that in the room. Okay, thank you, sir. So what I'm trying to say, guys, <coughs> excuse me, if this market moving, we are nailing it. And if this market not moving, don't take it out on us, please. Just try uh, to study the chart and try to understand what's going on uh, in the trading. Let me show you. We have to show you the good things and the bad things. As an example, I will take the NASDAQ one minute today. And if we notice on the NASDAQ uh, one minute, look, we got hammered to start with. I mean, this is a very nasty early in the morning. A trader got up and then bang, bang, bang. Three losing trades on the road. Welcome to trading. That is going to happen because if you notice here, it's never been about numbers as much as understand how this market move. We showed you the most successful chart for today, and we need to show you the most horrible chart today. And because you're gonna be bumped into both. If we look here, this is a very flat market. And that it is, when you see this, or when, when, when you are trading, if it's not today, tomorrow, if it's not tomorrow, next week, but you will bump into those trades. And here's the problem, if your stop loss is very high, you would have been killed by those three trades and you could have been seriously damaging to your account. That's why an amateur trading is looking at the just the plus number, he's not calculating if he have a bad day, which this is a very wrong. If we notice here at the entry, it was the entry 61.50, and then uh, exit and lost that trade on 60.25. The NASDAQ is $5 per tick, is a very affordable. And then we bump into a lot of nasty areas right there. Very nasty turbulence. And if we think again about that trade here, when now after the fact it's uh, so easy, but when the market broke out, pulling back, I would have fallen in the same trap and I would have taken that one long and I would have lost much more than the auto trade because the way this market was going indicated that there is a major breakout and especially for those last couple of days this market was moving very fast and that can make any trader pull the trigger. And then on the pullback, the market has just died, practically. And and it is the same story. If we notice when the market go up, very nice, we took a trade, and then the market took a dive. Fair enough, then we go short, then the market went the opposite. And those areas here can drive any guy crazy. And if you over merge yourself, whether you are a manual or automated, that can drive anybody crazy. That's why in the swing trading, the first question is that auto trade, how many stop, how many ticks in the stop loss? Because on a day like this, if you have a 50 ticks of stop loss and 80 ticks, I've seen some auto trades on 80 ticks of stop loss called swing trading that will be serious damage in thousands. And here is the question, because this is most of the uh, questions comes in from the amateur trade. What's wrong with your auto trade then? There is nothing wrong. What's wrong with the chart? Where you want that auto trade to bring you money from that area here? From where? how you want this auto trade to give you takes when there is no takes to make. So this is uh, very important for the trader to understand that auto trading is not magical. 
Uh, it is a mechanical trading. Call it a Jew box if you want to. Call it a black box. Call it whatever you want to uh, call it. But a trader should be responsible to look at the chart and to examine how he made money today and how he did not make money. If we look at this gentleman, Bobby, chart, how this auto trade taken, we can see when he took those trades, the market never looked back. I'm not sure I want to show you that picture here, but um, I will show it to you. This is from a different uh, account. It does not exist on uh, the one you are uh, right now looking at. And if we notice on that trade, went directly, even if you missed that trade, we could have got in almost the same uh, entry half an hour later, the same entry. And the market pulled back, put everybody out of that trade, and then took a dive. They made sure that everybody is out before they drove the market. It is the oldest trick in the book to drive the traders out of the market and then take the market for a dive. Uh, folks, that's all what we have for you today. As I said, uh, the beginning of this year, I'm very optimistic on uh, 2018. Uh, 2017, it was uh, very hard on everybody, a lot of stress, a lot of misled on the net. Uh, uh, the traders in 2017, they were more confused than any other times. Uh, uh, 2017 was very hard. Uh, I'm very optimistic, I don't know why, but I'm very optimistic for 2018, for whatever system you are using. Uh, we wish you the best. We wish you good luck because every trader is working hard. Uh, try to stay calm. Don't listen to the noises in the market and try to concentrate on, uh, try to study the chart. Doesn't matter which uh, time frame you are using. Uh, try to concentrate on the chart's movement. And um, we have, uh, a lot of traders, they've been away for many years and now they're back in 2018. I think 2018 is going to be a very good year to the traders. Folks, that's all what we have for you today. God bless you all and see you another day. Bye for now.